Is it safe to use aluminium cookware? Let's frame the question more accurately before answering it. Aluminium is the most common metal on the Earth's crust. In fact, 8% of the Earth's surface is aluminium. It's everywhere. In the water you drink, it's in the soil, in the vegetables you eat, in the medicines you take. So we ingest aluminium all the time. So the real question, the accurate question is, does the extra bit of aluminium that leaches from your vessels into your food somehow make it more toxic than otherwise? And before we answer that, consider this. Your parents and your grandparents very likely used it all the time. Even right now, the moment you step outside your rich urban life, almost everyone who is economically underprivileged uses aluminium. Every restaurant or street food place uses it. So if it was genuinely toxic, we would have seen serious consequences by now. So clearly, the answer is no. Aluminium is fine. But there are some conditions. So aluminium and copper are toxic at certain concentrations. First and foremost, let's understand what happens when you eat things that your body does not need. Your liver and kidney play the role of detoxing you. And if you're generally healthy, your body does a good job of eliminating all the excess copper and aluminium that you might consume. It is only when the concentration goes above a certain level and your liver and kidney get overwhelmed is when you have problems. An important myth to point out here. One of the most common scares about aluminium is that it apparently causes Alzheimer's. There is zero evidence. Don't trust me. The Alzheimer's Foundation literally had to create a separate section on their webpage to debunk this persistent myth. So let's consider two kinds of aluminium cookware. One, pure aluminium. It's light, it's a fantastic conductor of heat, way better than iron and steel, transfers heat evenly, uses very little fuel, and is extraordinarily cheap. This is the most widely used all over. Although rich people like us have the option to not use it. Two, anodized or coated aluminium. The coat can be non-stick in some cases or stainless steel. In fact, many vessels nowadays use triply, where aluminium is sandwiched between two layers of stainless steel so that you get the advantage of aluminium while avoiding a few problems that we will discuss. So anodized or coated aluminium or triply is safe in all situations. So therefore, the pressure cooker you use and all the day-to-day -day things that contain aluminium in your posh urban kitchen, they are all safe to use all the time. If you are using pure aluminium, the light, thin one sometimes in baking trays and so on, or you are worried about the biryani shop that is using a giant aluminium vessel, here is how to sensibly think about this. Consider what kind of dishes are being made. One, plain or acidic, meaning sour dishes. Two, are they dry dishes or are they gravy dishes? Like how wet is the dish? Third, how long are you cooking the dish? So if it is dry and not sour, it is completely safe. Your biryani falls under this category. If it is dry and sour, it is still mostly safe. Wet and non-sour, again, mostly safe. But if you're cooking something over long periods of time, and if you're very risk averse and do not want to ingest any extra aluminium, then you can avoid it. Wet and sour, this you can avoid, particularly if these are slow cooked gravy dishes with tomatoes, tamarind, vinegar, yogurt or curd, lime juice or any other strongly acidic or sour ingredients. Acidic meaning sour liquids leach the most aluminium into your food. So if you can avoid that, you will be fine. Remember that street or restaurant food is usually cooked rapidly. Customers don't wait for hours. So in those situations, don't break your head. Baking trays and aluminium foil, always safe to use. In summary, keep this in mind. Aluminium is all over the place. Your body has the ability to remove any excess if you are a healthy person. The additional amount that you're likely to ingest from cookware is very, very small. And no, aluminium does not cause Alzheimer's. If you're very risk averse and do not want to ingest that small extra bit of aluminium, Avoid slow cooking, sour dishes for long periods of time. That's all. In every other situation, don't break your head.